So now that we've actually written the PDF file to our storage area just here, we now want to serve that to the user, then delete the temporary file. So inside of index.php, let's say capture, respond. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose the file name that we want to respond with. So this could be absolutely anything at all. I'm just going to put invoice.pdf though. Okay, so we need to implement this respond method. So under our load method here, we have our respond method. And inside of here, we have the file name that we want to call this. So we remember loaded in Symfony's HTTP foundation component. And as part of this, we have the ability to uh, return a response. So we're going to say response equals new response. And we need to grab that PDF file. So remember here, when we did load, we set this PDF to capture image that now contains the path. So all we need to do in here is say file get contents, this PDF. We need to respond with a specific code, which is 200 OK. And then we have an array of headers that we can send. So the first one is content description. And that's just file transfer. The next is content disposition. And this is an attachment. We need to set the file name. So that's, uh, we'll just put um, x.php or .pdf. And this is going to be surrounded in double quotes. And what we can now do is append on the file name. And that is just the file name that we passed in. The next is content transfer encoding. That's binary. And last but not least, the content type, which is an application PDF. So this then will allow us to respond. It will automatically be downloaded. Remember, we're grabbing that new PDF file that we've generated. We're responding with a 200 and we just have various headers in here that assist this download. Now what we want to do is remove that file, that temporary file, because the, the user will have already downloaded it. So we're going to say this PDF and then we're going to say response send. So we create the response. We pull in the content that we want to serve to the user as a PDF file using the custom file name under our content disposition header. We remove the temporary file because we don't want this storage directory to get massive. And then we send the response. So let's go ahead and test this out. I'm going to delete these two files that we had in here before we introduce deleting files. And let's see what, ha what happens now. So let's hit enter on here. OK, so we've got an error here. I think I know what might be the problem. So this PDF at the moment, remember, we're setting uh, the result of this capture image method. And down here, what we're not doing is returning the path. So that was why uh, we got an error on file get contents. File name cannot be empty. So let's hit enter again. And there we go. So you'll still see this error if you saw that error as well. But don't worry, it just it's just because the page hasn't refreshed. We've just forced this download. So we now have invoice.pdf downloaded. We click on that and we see our invoice. And that is it. We now have complete creative control over the PDFs we create. You can go ahead and fiddle around with the settings uh, under capture.js to change this to, you know, how you want. For example, you could change the width of this and you can just go ahead and see the result here. So that's made things slightly different. It's entirely up to you how you play around with this. But essentially now what we're doing is we are generating PDF files via HTML and CSS content, which makes it a lot easier to make any changes.